BPSXE version 190. PS1 emulator configured for Windows 7 with HD graphics the best possible graphics for PS1 generation games. Important. BPSXE, unlike other emulators, do not store its settings in a config file that can be copied from computer to computer. BPSXE stores the configuration and settings in the Windows registry. So it's not possible just to download and play. There are some extra steps to be done, but we have made it a lot easier for you. The emulator has two different configurations, as we said before. These settings are stored directly into Windows registry, so this can't be copied as usual. Emulator settings Plug-in settings Both configurations are really important. The emulator configuration stores the selected plug-ins, BIOS and other PS1 emulating machine settings. Plug-in configuration stores all that large and complicated settings of graphic, audio and other plug-ins. Of course, the download file we're giving you includes BIOS and plug-ins, already set in their corresponding folders, ready to play. Otherwise, if you download the emulator from its official site, You'd have to search for the BIOS and plug-in separately. You don't have to set all the configurations manually so do not worry. Here are the steps. 1. Download the file. You can find the link in the video description. You'll get the file that you have to uncompress. 2. After decompressing you'll get one folder containing the emulator along with BIOS and plug-ins, and two extra files containing settings. 3. These are the config files and you have just to import them into Windows Registry. To do this, double-click the first one. If you can't execute a file double-clicking it, or if it opens in a notepad, you have to right-click it and select, Open with, Registry Editor. 4. You'll have to pass through several prompts asking if you're sure to add information into the registry. You'll have to answer affirmatively every time and you can do it safely since there's nothing that can damage the registry in any way. 5. A new prompt will notify you that the settings have been installed successfully. Now you just have to repeat the process with the second config file. It is advisable that you install first the emulator configuration and the plugin config after, or something could go wrong. Anyway, if you did it, there's no worry. You can repeat the process in the right order again and the info will overwrite. And there you are, ready to play with improved graphics. The only thing left to set, it's the controllers as the imported config is set to play with my control pad. If you have a vibration compatible controller, with these settings you'll even be able to play with strong vibration function of PS1 games. This works whether you have 32 or 64 bit windows. Next, let's see some emulator footage so you can see that graphics are slightly superior to the graphics that the original PS1 could handle. Oh my head! I hate barbecue!
If you have any doubt or problem, just leave a comment and we'll be glad to help. I apologize for my awful dictation, pronunciation, intonation, punctuation, etc. I'm just the computer, please understand that, I do this for a living. Came over it.